Hulk's prestige is too damn high. Why is this? Well, Kabam, we're gonna answer whether well, this is a permanent thing or a bug. Relic section has a tutorial bug, which is a tad annoying. It's definitely a thing at the moment. And Kabam respond also to the Trello board criticism that we talked about on Monday. Oh, and compensation, compensation, compensation. Where is it? Yes, indeedy. Hello, welcome to the Wednesday show. I hope you're doing well. This is new content drop day, and I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be something different. We've got tons of videos that are going to be posted on this particular subject, so I'm looking forward to getting right into the action. And also, we've got a lot of news to go over that's going to help out the community with information, things to be mindful of, and also to be worried of. No, not worried of. Maybe you're worried, though. So make sure, first of all, to subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free, by the way. And also hit the notification bell. I will be posting links onto Twitter and as well onto the Discord to keep everyone up to date with stuff. And it's a very important day because you'll need to know what the vibe is, where to go, the top tips, and all that stuff. Let's kick off the show right here. So this player says my top champs were a six-star rank five signature 200 Namor. Sorry, Namor, I should be saying it proper like. Rank four signature 200 Nimrod, Overseer, I-Bomb, etc, etc, etc. Prestige of 16180. I had an OG Hulk at rank four sig 200. By the way, those sound like fantastic champions, by the way. Jealous of that. Uh, I don't have a six-star Hulk. Jealous of those that do. They said that my prestige today is uh, 16219. So it's gone up a little bit right there. But also shows OG Hulk as my second champ to Nimar. Okay, so what the heck's going down with that? Yes, the champion um, is just being buffed. But it seems like there is a bit of an issue in that uh, Kabam Jacks confirmed as of yesterday. Seeing some internal communications that Hulk's PI is high, much higher than intended, there are adjustments in the works, so just be aware that this situation is in flux. So do bear in mind that, um, and we'll try and see if there's any update to it. But uh, yeah, um, good, slight momentary good news, especially coming into an AQ cycle. Um, whether or not it will affect any kind of prestige elements for that one, we'll have to see. But um, yeah, uh, it's going to be changed, so... Uh, Nice while it lasted. Oh, hey, do you remember that story last month where we talked about a one-star new Captain America entering into the game? Well, Kabam were like, hold my beer. And here is a Spider-Man Starkey Enhanced one-star. Yes, a new one-star has come into the game. Very strange with this. Because if you look at the way that the kind of game is, uh, is going, like there's... I'm just trying to think of like, the relevancy of when a one star is available. There's those special arenas that come around sometimes, but also there are some other times where we've got like a uh, variant four. I don't know if we'll ever have like another kind of variant that in that requires you to use one stars. But look, they're expanding the one star base collection, which I think is kind of cool. So yeah, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man has now entered as a one star for collection. And you might be wondering, who's picking up such a fantastic thing? Well, there are people indeed picking it up. Um, there is a player right here, uh, this particular player called KOI. Hello, my name is KOI. Okay, um, but yeah, uh, they have a one star Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, so people are picking it up. I would like to pick up that particular champion, but then I think that I'm just collecting it for the purpose of collecting it. But yeah, that's uh, a new addition. I wonder what will be next and new. Next up, let's go on to the relics bug. Okay, there's a relics bug at the moment in game. I don't know if you are experiencing or had experience it or it's still experiencing. So for example, when you click on relics, it would come up with the uh, tutorial side of things, which is annoying. I happened to be once, I think I binded the champion that I didn't plan to. No, I, I did bind the right champion. I think it was I was binding Massacre to the Valkyrie one. Um, just because I want to do some experimentations with that. But it was kind of annoying for that to pop up, and it did feel like you were forced binded into something. Uh, and for some other, other people, it's causing more of an issue, okay? So a forum thread was raised yesterday about this whole kind of thing. That's not the right transition, Richard. I transitioned to the wrong thing. You see, button pressing's hard. Uh, <laughs> any case, right. Back on Wednesday, um, this was happening to people. When did it start happening? Blah, 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 blah. But 
Um, on yesterday, on yesterday, yesterday, uh, Kabam Jack said the game team is working on the fix of this issue. Currently, the less than ideal temporary workaround for this is restarting the game works to get out of the tutorial, which I think I did. The tutorial only procs when the user enters the relic screen. So as long as they would, uh, they avoid the relics tab for the time being, they can pl play normally. Now I don't know if this means that this it means it's been fixed. It like I'd, I'd say with the amount of people that have been posting that they've been experiencing the issue which you can see on screen right now I would say the answer is um, no but um, yeah I am looking at this hi someone disagrees with me looking at this oh I can't look at it then I can't look at it well, we're, we're caught in a bit of a, a problem here. Um, but yeah, um, it currently straight still an issue. Kabam have said they are um, they are working on it. Uh, someone said, remove the relic tab. I don't think that's going to be a thing. But yeah, it looks like it's still an issue. Try and restart if it comes up. And hopefully Kabam get a fix as soon as possible. But avoid the relics tab. A lot of people do already avoid the relics tab. Uh, but yeah, um, working for me, not for others. I actually went through the process and binded and, and just bound a, a relic to a champion and it sorted it out for me. Or, uh, yeah, and I did that and then I, then I think I like restarted and then it was fine or something and I've not had the issue since. But that may not suit everybody and work for everybody. And now let's move on to a bit of an update from Monday's show. Mon Monday's show we talked about the Trello board, which I think was a really good thing to talk about because I didn't, I don't think it's been as well utilized as maybe it should be. And especially when we compared against other games developers and how they use the Trello board for means of like letting you know about what's going on with uh, with a bug, a process, an update on a situation, a one stop shop for anything that's going you know wrong in MCOC. And not uh, look, here's the thing: we don't want to dwell on what's going wrong with MCOC. But we want to find out what's being done about the wrong or, you know, what's positive that we can look forward to. But mainly going like, OK, well, we've got problems in game. I mean, we do the new show to kind of like highlight those points to bring in together. But it's great to kind of have a place that you can go to go. Right. Well, this is what Kabam are working on and this is where they're up to. Now, there was a great thread done by Mr. Z uh, Dr. Zola. I call him Mr. Zola. Downgraded his uh, his PhD. Dr. Zola about just like talking about, uh, you know, disappointment about the communications of bugs and, and pro progress and stuff like that, which is a very good point, right? Now, this did get a lot of people kind of like talking about stuff and, and things like that, but uh, it did get a response from, uh, from Kabam Mike, who says that, thanks for the feedback. I will admit that the board needs some love and work. Thank you. I am invested in making it work, so I would love to hear exactly what is you'd like to see on the board. Maintaining a forum for this pretty difficult for, for both um, of us and those looking for information. So I want to make it a one-stop shop for bug awareness. What's, what's it? Uh, that's, that's just like a term that I kind of use. Uh, what, what what do you want to see more of and uh, what would find helpful? Be constructive and direct, but kind. I'm going to use your words as direct feedback to our team to show them uh, what you want to see. I mean, in a nutshell, it's just a case of like, when something's put on, it's just a case of going, okay, date, 7th of March, 8th of March, 9th of March, 10th of March. Um, I'm not saying they have to update every single day, but at least to go like, you know, once a week, just to go like, the, um, still investigating at this point or contacted um, developer contacted in this this department to be notified um, awaiting response response uh, you know 11th of March response from um, a particular team fix to be addressed at this time. it's like this kind of level of response uh, with it um, just to kind of give people that that kind of um, reassurance but mainly communication to go like, okay, well, um, it looks like they've seen it and they're working on it. And then it's the case if it's taken a month to kind of get it sorted, then of course we're going to go like, look, why hasn't this been dealt with? But I have that lines of communication. It's just handy to kind of like, it's like a ticket, isn't it? When it's a ticket with Kabam. In any case, lots of brilliant stuff that's being kind of um, put in put in place from uh, from people with feedback, good discussions on stuff. A bug tracker, a great tool to communicate. I mean, that's what the Trello board is meant to be all about. And a few other things as well. Things like Trello are a nightmare to maintain unless you have a high disciplined team. Um, that is that's a good point. It just needs that kind of level of someone willing to go, oh, got um, got any, some, one particular person's emailing out to the particular person in the team going, I've sent you, a, sent you a message and they update it. When they've heard back, 
the first person's up update it rather than saying everybody updates it. It's just a case of one line of communication from one person as to, okay, have I heard back from this person about this bug? No. So therefore they go and say, look, I messaged you on the 7th or 8th of March. I haven't heard back from you. Um, can I have an update? Update the Trello board, message the person at this. I, I don't know whether or not Kabam are willing to do that particular line of communication, but it would be kind of like nice to just at least see some of the nice suggestions that players have. And now, have you been injured in a Marvel Contest of Champions or Kabam based product? Then you might be entitled to compensation. And welcome to the compensation section roundup. <laughs> yes, can't believe I'm doing a, a compensation section roundup but it seems to be the style of the times. In any case, the Forge to Fight compensation package, which we all learned of last week, was delayed. There's still no update. So sadly, the February 28th um, message by Command Mike on this particular subject is the last time there was a Command employee letting you know what uh, is going on with the situation of Forge to Fight compensation. It is still something that will be slotted into this week. But saying that, <laughs> it, I... I I would say, how long is a piece of string with this particular compensation? You might have to wait a further week. Not saying you will or won't, it's just it's Wednesday. And how things normally go is like, right, well, it's then if you've not heard anything today, then it puts it into Thursday. If you haven't heard anything Thursday, then it puts it into Friday. And it's always touch and go whether or not these things get posted out to the community, either on the Friday or it's then weighted over the weekend. And then it's like Monday because things don't get posted out or very rarely get posted out on a weekend base. Next up, and what about the compensation package for those that weren't able to log in yesterday? No, uh, I, I saw one player, but here I am able to log in today. Will I get compensated for the day lost? I lost the last day of the date game calendar because of the issue. So people weren't able to log in yesterday because of some issues that went on. I think it was because incursions came back. You clicked on incursions and then it meant that you weren't able to do anything. That was one part of it. There may be a different part of it. I don't see Kabam giving out any compensation for this. And finally, on compensation number three, and this is all the last side quest compensation. Last month there was complications, issues, and other stuff that arose. And yes, people were experiencing problems. Uh, where are we up to with any kind of like, um, you know, compensation package for this? Well, we do have an answer. And it's, well, I would say it's good news. I would say it's good news. But uh, yeah, um, there is good news. It's today. So I just read it. I was like, there's no good news. There is good news. Uh, other than the situation, the initial plan was to have compensation go out to impacted summoners today. However, our team realized it can't go out until new meta launches. As of now, the target date is Wednesday this week. So today. Uh, we'll update you with any new information as it comes. So compensation package today. Have you been compensated? Well, we sorted that out for you. Commission free. Now let's end the show as we normally do on a Wednesday with arena predictions for Titania going into the basic and Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. Non Star Trek fans probably incredibly confused about that. But in any case, uh, predictions. Six star uh, Kamala Khan. I'm going with 80 mil. I don't know if this is going to be super high. Arenas at the moment are very tricky to predict because some things you th you you think are going to go a certain way and they just don't. But I'll go with 80 mil for the six star featured. Five star feature to go with 25 mil. Six star basic Titania. I'll go with 50 mil. That may have to be bumped up to 60 mil. It just depends again on grind habits. But here's the thing. Like I think 50 mil are uh, pretty solid on that one. And 18 mil for the five star. Let's go with it. But we'll have to see like what the results are on Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Sunday. Uh, and then we'll do the MCN kind of results. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, looking forward to seeing what the results are. That indeed has been our really big shoe. So we're going to have lots of stuff later on to make sure to kind of keep locked to the channel because we've got lots of guides and information to go over. So as well, thank you very much to those who support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon who are on screen right now. Also those who support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for those that came by to the live stream last night on Twitch. And I'll see you all very soon. And also check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. Let's go.